ESPN U contacted us about playing a national televised game between us and Miami Pace. Pace is one of the best teams in the state every single year, winning multiple state titles over the last seven years. I look forward to that game, honored by the invitation to play in that game. Couldn't wait to go ahead and play them there. Uh, the game got moved from our home court here to a, a quote unquote neutral site, Nova Southeastern University. The game is scheduled for a Tuesday night in the middle of January. Coming into the game, I knew we were playing Pace, one of our players' former schools. Uh, Ray Taylor used to play over there with Ray Shipman, who's committed to the University of Florida, along with uh, multiple Division I players on Miami Pace's school team. Our team obviously is good too, good matchup. Coming into the game, there were a lot of rumors that one or two of our players were not going to play. Uh, I don't ever get caught up in the rumors. I, I don't worry about any of that stuff. It turned out that Ray Taylor and Eloy Vargas did not participate in that game. They were not at the arena that night. The reason I didn't play in the Pace game was because I didn't get my state championship ring. You know, after that, it was kind of bad turns between us. So I figured me and my mom came to an agreement that we wouldn't have nothing else. We didn't want nothing else to do at that school. So me and her made a decision to sit out that game. And it was a tough decision that we made. But I support the decision 100%. The mood is, is still surprisingly upbeat. I mean, the kids, um, they're not jumping up and down or anything right now. So I think it's a calm, cool collectiveness, but um, I think they're still pretty confident. Still think they feel pretty good about themselves. When Eloy and Ray didn't show up, I mean, I wasn't, I had some mixed thoughts, but I wasn't really mad. It was just, they had to do what they had to do, and, you know, I have to support their decision. They're my family. Those are two of my good friends. So when they didn't show up, it just was basically an opportunity for other players to step up. Oh, no, we still good. I mean, look what you got. Everton Chin, Brett Buzzard, Bill Slade, my main man, Brandon Hando, you know, of course, Jay Mo, you know what I'm saying? Who else? Nick, let out the lion. What do you got to do for the lion tonight? Let him out the cage. Let him out the cage, bro. And of course, my main man, Kenny Boy. I was a little hurt personally because, I mean, I didn't really know their situation and when Eloy and Ray didn't show up for the game, I mean, they didn't even show up. I was a little disappointed knowing Ray is one of our leaders and Eloy is a senior on our team. One of the, uh, le he's our leading rebounder and probably our top, one of the top three scorers and it was a little disappointing to me. I'm looking all your eyes, I believe you guys are going to win. I believe that. And I'm going to tell you guys something. Everybody in this locker room may be the only ones who believe that truly. When I made my decision, I knew I had a, I had an obligation to this team, being a leader on the team, and I, I kind of felt like I didn't really think about letting them down because I was I knew a decision that I had to make. So some stuff in life you just gotta you gotta do. It's, that was just something that I felt I had to do to become a better person, and it was just a big decision. I, I took into consideration that. My team needed me. Like I said, I'm the leader on the team. But at the end of the day, it was just something that I had to do. You can't control that stuff. I'm not worried about that right now. This is who I'm worried about. This is who we're going with. This is who's going to beat those guys. This is all we're doing. And the rest of us went ahead and played the game against Miami Pace. We competed. We played hard. Kenny Borton was great that night. The rest of our guys stepped up. But we just were no match for them on that night with a depleted squad with very little practice time with a depleted squad. So the game turned out to be a victory for Pace. I absolutely heard from the families of both players. I understand their side of the story. I respect their side of the story. I feel like Eloy really joined me because he had doubts about the game too because I never really asked him to come and join me because it was my, it was my battle, my fight. That's, so. I think Eloy's situation was just him and his guardian. They decided to come to that decision and they came to me and my mom and said that they're going to sit out with us. As far as me as the coach here, my job is to do what's best for the team here and this team was scheduled to play in that game. That means if we have a game, our players are at that game competing for American Heritage School. There's no negotiation in my mind on that. 
Uh, we had to go there without all of our players. The reaction, I feel a lot of people overreacted because they didn't know the whole story. They were looking from the outside in and they were in my position. A lot of people made the same decision that I made. So as far as college coaches go, I just hope the college coaches look at me and see that I have character. I'm a man of substance and I don't, winning isn't everything. I know, I know a lot of people look at it I let my team down, but I don't really look at that because in, if you really look at that game, it's, the game didn't really mean as much to me as my character and my, my dignity. Although those two guys didn't partake in that game, in no way, shape, or form do I as a coach, a teacher, and an educator give up on those students. This is an opportunity to learn a lesson, an opportunity to educate. So we went ahead and made the decision, we as American Heritage, me as the head coach, in consultation with our administration, to have those guys sit out a number of games after their decision not to play. And we're a team, so we'll always be a family, no matter what, any through anything. But I mean, it's just another tough, tough step to get over and we'll get over it together. I think also it's important for the team to understand that yes, those guys weren't there, but those are still our guys and me as a coach, we're still behind those guys. We're ready to move forward from this and that started in our first district game after that against Pompano Beach High School here at home on a Thursday night, two nights after that game against Pace. Today's game was Coach Herge's birthday and um, it was a closed game throughout the game. We didn't play our best game. It was back and forth, and at the end of the game, uh, the state's leading scorer, Kenny Boynton, made a pass to get the assist to the young sophomore, Jake Wheeler, for the game winner. What an unbelievable end to a saga here that's just 48 hours after that whole pace thing, and it was a good ending to the week for us. As we move forward, I want to watch Eloy Vargas finish his senior year with passion, heart, and, and display the character that I know that he has and then take that with him to the University of Florida where he, like me, is going to be a Gator. Ray Taylor will finish out his junior year and he will display the character that I know he has. Ray Taylor is a competitor, a winner, and a gentleman and he will come back from this stronger, learn from it, and be ready to roll and lead our team to victory.